Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please click on like and subscribe. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today I'm going to go over this uh, Latibel sliding door and window lock. These are on Amazon. These are about $12 for a four pack. These are made for sliding doors, sliding windows, um, basically for extra protection. So if you're sliding door instead of having to drop a stick down behind there, this goes behind there, clips on. So I'm going to install one, show you how it works, and tell you whether I think it's a good idea or not. So I apologize for the mess. The house is still under construction, so as you can see, there's still things in the way. But basically this goes on with 3M tape. There's two little tabs on the side. When you pop the tabs, this little flap pops open, and this keeps your door from sliding open and closed. Now it is made out of plastic. They're $11 for four of them. So as far as length and durability, that'll get to be seen. I'm not sure how long they'll last. Um, the other thing is, is how far away you put them from the door. Like I'm gonna stick this on the door close by. So if you stick this too far away, what's gonna happen is it's gonna give someone enough room to slide the door. And if you slide, if you got enough room to get your hands in there and bang it, it's not gonna be as effective if you keep it close and tight to the door. Now I want to put these in high enough for a child to not be able to get to them, low enough for an adult to still be able to reach them, but you don't want them in your line of sight. So if you're five foot tall or six foot tall, you don't want them at six feet. You want them probably a little bit taller so you're not looking straight at it. You want to clean the window off really well. I've already used an alcohol swab to get all the uh, grease, oil, whatever might be on here. Microfiber towel to get that off. And then I'm just going to peel the 3M tape off of here. This is ready to go on. Up to here where I clean the window. And again, I want to keep this as close to the door as possible without giving much room for it to slide and open and close. Because again, the more you can grab this door, the more you can bang on it. If you can slide the door and slam it, you're going to be able to pop that off eventually. So you want this close as you can. Press in firmly and it should be stuck in place. Now this sliding door in particular happens to open from the middle. So both doors open outward. It doesn't matter if the door slides one way, both ways, either way, as long as you catch the edge of the door here. So with it pushed in, as you can see, I can slide it past that easily. With the door closed, when I push the two little tabs on the side, this piece comes out and it prevents the door from opening. So to open the door, you would simply push in. And again, door slides by. Now, first impression, I think it's a good idea to keep uh, children inside your house. So if you have a sliding door, you put those up high, a child's never gonna be able to pop that off. As far as protection, you're still better off with a stick in the bottom of the door to keep that door from opening. Because I think if you pulled on that enough, again, depending on how much, like this door has a handle on the outside. Uh, some of the doors have just little finger grabs. If you have finger grabs on the outside, it's harder to get a hold of that thing and pull. But with a handle, someone could easily get behind there, put some weight into it, and probably pop that off. Now this would work the same for a window, like a sash style window. If you put this in here, the thing of the window is it's such a big box. It's like three and a half inches. You could slide it over. You'd have to slide it over enough that you can get your fingers in. But it would be the same principle. You put it high enough that the little piece, when you open it up, catches the window. So you want to open it stick it down right there and that way when you push it in it clears but these windows already have locking mechanisms in them which if you're building a new house i would highly recommend getting windows with the locks in them again this is not going to prevent somebody from prying the window open it will slow them down it stop a lot of people and it keeps children in once you get a big enough gap that you can get your hands into and arms into uh, i'm a pretty big boy i'm 220 pounds I could probably break those tabs off pretty easy if I could get my hands under that window. So just one last note. Uh, again, I cleaned the glass very well with alcohol. I used a microfiber towel to buff it when I got done so it was nice and dry. And this is stuck on there. It's not coming off there. I mean, you would have to take something and pry it off of here and probably clean the glass. So the one good thing about it, even though it's inexpensive, it was a 3M tape on the back of it. And it does seem to adhere extremely well. So overall, uh, I would say extremely good for keeping out your everyday burglar. Uh, definitely good for keeping your children in, fast and easy to put on. They adhere extremely well. For 12 bucks, you get four in the package. I'll put the link in the description below. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Please click on like and subscribe.